I want to share with you guys. It's at the end of the night as I make this video. I got my air conditioning on in my RV. It's a little noisy, so excuse that, but I'm in my recliner. I'm on the lot that I own by the beach in Southeast Florida, and I am thankful to the Lord. I'm thankful uh, for this property. After about a month of adapting, I'm really more and more enjoying my home base. Uh, there's a whole process of a big change in your life. It takes a while to adjust. But as time goes on, guys, I'm adjusting just fine. Uh, I don't want to act like it's all roses. I've given you pros and cons. Uh, always have your exit strategy. Always. But I want to tell you, always be willing to adapt. Because as time has gone on, not necessarily in the beginning, but as time has gone on, I want to tell you, I'd rather be in my recliner in this temperature control uh, on my RV lot that I own by the beach than uh, in a Planet Fitness parking lot or even a campground. Uh, at least tonight. And at least to have the option to go back to my home base if I want. Uh, I don't look down on stealth camping. I don't look down on campgrounds. I don't look down on the full-time nomad life. Uh, I'm thankful for it. So this isn't to be negative. Uh, I got my glasses on so you may get a glare. Again, you got the air conditioning making noise. But I got to document this moment. A little over a month buying a piece of property for the first time in five years. In the beginning, I was very hesitant even to spend too much time on my property. But I incrementally have added more time at my property. Definitely at night I'm using it, and a couple hours or so during the day. And um, I'm using it as a, at least a 50% of my day balance. And I'm enjoying the balance. It's healthy. It's positive. For all my nomads out there that are working towards their best life, you're not destitute. Shout out to my destitute nomads, no disrespect. But for my nomads out there working for their best life, don't fear the home base. Don't rush the home base. Uh, buy below your means, have an exit strategy. The home base will not make your life. Your life is your daily routine, your health, and your financial well-being. Uh, for my destitute nomads, don't don't look down on a subsidized apartment. Use it as a home base and then go camping. Discipline. Get yourself out of the apartment. That's discipline. Uh, it's discipline for me to incrementally use this. But don't fear the home base, guys. Um, I know I made a lot of videos, especially in the beginning of the channel, negative towards home ownership. Because look, you know, I'm, I was at that seasonal life where I wanted out of home ownership. I wanted to cut my living quarters in half I had a thousand square foot condo now I own a 300 square foot RV I wasn't living by the beach I was in the Northeast now I'm living by the beach I'm in the Southeast so I accomplished what I set out to by the grace of God and through hard work and what I could tell you is you know just be willing to adapt uh, there's pain in adapting, and it takes a while, and this nothing's perfect. Okay. And I can change my mind, so don't go too crazy. But I want to tell you that for however long things last, they last. And then when it's time to change, change. And then if it's time to change again, change again. But I think there's something very healthy and valuable to balance your life, to have a home base after a certain amount of time on the road, especially if you've been full-time especially as you get older, especially as you meet your objectives, especially once you found out where you want to spend 90% of your time. So, you know, those are my thoughts tonight as I'm sitting in my recliner. Um, I was still outside today more than most people. I still fully submerged the Atlantic Ocean. Um, I still did everything I want. I didn't take a nap. I didn't oversleep. Um, I didn't even cook at my house. I still ate. Uh, at Whole Foods, I still had Starbucks, I still did everything I would do if I'm a nomad except stealth camp, except drive more than I need to, except, you know, have this, you know, edge or this anxiety at the end of the night, you know, about where I'm going to park or 
if the parking lot's crowded or if the campground is whatever. So, you know, don't fear the home base. Don't rush the home base. The home base is not everything. It's cherry on the top. I said that for many years. I want to share this at the end of this video. For many years, for people who've been watching my channel, I always stated a home base does not make your life. It's cherry on top to the Sunday of good habits and the good daily routine and the good structure you've built in your life. Once you've built the Sunday, once you've built the structure of your life, then if you're going to go through all that work to make a Sunday, and my mom used to work at Dairy Queen, okay, and I, she used to bring us to Dairy Queen while she worked. So I want to tell you, it takes a lot of work, you lazy sloths. It takes a lot of work to make a Sunday. To make a uh, you know to make a to make a Sunday, and so you want to put a cherry on top. My mom used to put a lot of cherries on top. She used to bless the people with extra cherries. So I want to tell you, there's a scripture that says if your child wants a fish, do you give him a stone? Of course not. Spoil your children. Don't be a cheap bastard. Just make sure they're grateful. And if you went through the hard work to make a Sunday, no more stealth camping. Put your cherry on the top. Get you a home base if you've done the research, if it's below your means, if it's where you want to spend 90% of the time. And always have an exit strategy. Why? Because if you've got all those things in place, it's just a cherry on the top. It's not an anchor to your soul. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank all the positive people that supported me along the way. You don't get to your dreams without support, but you don't get to your dreams without doing the work. You need all those things. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I hope this video helped you. If it did, click that thumbs up. You want to bless me, click that super ch thanks. You want to be part of the unlimited live access, click that blue join. You want to have your cherry on the top, show up. Show up. Show up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everyone. Peace.